What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. The LEGO Technic 42100 Leap Hair set is a huge beast and it is not easy to control. I wanted to test with the new customizable Powered Up app and the Powered Up remote if I can make it easier. Operating the excavator in real life usually requires both your hands and your legs, as the boom, the stick and the bucket is controlled manually by joysticks, and there are two pedals, one for each track. To make this possible on the LEGO model, the set has a quite complex control profile in the Control Plus app. You need to do everything with your fingers here, so there are joysticks, sliders and buttons, and since they are all virtual, you really have to look at the screen during playing to know where are the controls exactly. You can make this better with the true tactile feedback using a gamepad. I showed you in a video earlier how to set up a control profile for the set in the Brick Controller 2 app, so you can control the excavator with a gamepad. I think this is a much more convenient method, but it only works with a gamepad and you lose the feedback information from the app. I think the best solution would be to have physical buttons for control, but also some virtual elements. For this I used the Powered Up app to set up a custom control profile, but I added the Powered Up remote as well. Unfortunately LEGO does not have a remote with proportional joysticks yet, I really really hope this will change in the future. The Powered Up app already allows some customization, but the elements cannot be scaled yet, therefore I could not add all the gauges I wanted to. I was planning to show speed and also the roll and pitch data from the hub like the original profile, but with a single gauge I chose to display the speed. There are two big joysticks to replicate a similar behavior like on the original profile, but to control the tracks I use the buttons on the remote. This simple setup allows me to control the joysticks with my thumbs and use the buttons on the back the same time. In the original profile there are two extra buttons besides the sliders for the tracks, they open and close the bucket. I added this function to the red buttons on the remote, therefore I can fully operate the excavator without really looking at the screen. Ok, I'm not a certified heavy equipment operator, so controlling this thing precisely would require much more practice, but it's still easier to use than the original profile with only touch control. The code behind it is not too big, the operation of the buttons was a bit complex, but for the motors controlling the boom, the stick and the bucket the setup is pretty simple. There's no calibration this time, so the motors won't stop at the endpoints, I wanted to keep it simple for this proof of concept control. Going forward I would like to see a gamepad style controller made by LEGO with proportional joysticks and buttons or switches. The tactile feedback of the physical controllers is much much better than pure touchscreen control. With a setup like this it would be possible to use the physical controls without constantly looking at them and use the screen as a display for the different gauges if needed. Alternatively the Xbox and Playstation controller support of the new Mindstorm set could be implemented but unfortunately currently that one is not as good as I expected it to be. I will do a separate video about that later. So let me know your thoughts about this setup, please tell me if you would like to see a detailed tutorial about the coding and what additional features would be nice to implement. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you don't want to miss my technic reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye!